It's a Christmas tradition, especially here in Texas. Yeah, but our next guests take their tamales up a notch. Ascension and Higinio Amado with Grande Tamales. That's are here good. to explain. How's my Espanol? Perfecto. Not so bad. <laughs> now listen, you guys are the real deal uh, because you moved here from California a long time ago. You've been Houstonians for uh, the last eight years, eight years. right? Yes. And this is a beautiful collection of what you do best. So tell us about it. That is correct. So Grande Tamales basically has, um, our, our pride is the fact that we make our tamales by hand. We do make them the way they're made in Mexico. The recipes, the herbs, spices, the flavor is from the region of Mexico City or Morelos, around Cuernavaca, yeah. Morelos. Oh, and people, I love Cuernavaca. And, and because you guys can, uh, your tamales are available at HEB, a lot of folks out there have probably yes. had your tamales but don't realize they're yours. That's correct. So all you need to do is basically find the uh, label, the packaging this way. We do have little freezers that have our label at the, about the eight different HEB stores and we do our demos as well. Now we also sell them at farmers markets through Houston. But I like that you guys do a little bit of a twist. If you've never tried a tamale, uh, you know, so a lot of folks think, okay, the pork tamale, the chicken tamale, but you guys do a little bit of a twist. You do a spinach and cheese and you yes. also do what? Dessert, Dessert tamales. tamales. Yes. So today we have thing. our uh, apple with cinnamon and raisins. And as a child, my favorite tamales were dessert tamales. Some people think that because we're grande tamales, we came up with it. No, 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 no. They've been made the same way as long as the other tamales have. And the black bean, that's a different twist as well. Black bean with cheese. We use the juice of the bean in the masa so you get all of your nutrients in the tamal. Everything stays. So they're not only healthy and great tasting, you know, but it is really something that everybody's looking for around this holiday. And in addition to the dessert tamale, which some people may find surprising. You guys also have vegetarian, vegan options, gluten-free options, so it really runs the gamut. Exactly. I believe we have a tamal for everyone. Unless, of course, you're allergic to corn, right? Thankfully, <laughs> I'm not. I am not. Thank <laughs> can, can we start eating them, please? <laughs> I know. I know. I'm like, I'm so hungry. But these are also, you can also freeze them and, and hold them to, and take them in for a couple of months, yes. too, right? Yes. Yes. They can stay frozen. Um, technically, you know, as I like to say is your preference. Some people do, do not like to keep the, uh, their food frozen too long, and I, it, it's your preference. Yeah. Um, however, we do bring them sometimes fresh to the markets as well, mm -hmm. so you want to know when those demos are so you can get them fresh out of the pot. Oh, that's a good See, tip. See, that's where I've had one is at Farmer's Market over at uh, uh, Rice, Rice Village. Rice mm -hmm. Village. No, seriously, can we start eating these? I wasn't kidding. Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, can we start making too? we got to make Let's make oh, We're going to make some. Gonna Nino's going to show you part. exactly here how this to make them. Okay. The first thing that you have to do is look for the silky part on the corn husk. The silky part, okay. Yes, it has two sides. It's a little difficult, but um, you'll get it after you practice a little Wait, bit. Wait, so if people want to make these at home, they have to buy ears of corn yeah, they and have, they have pull to. out the right silk? Yes, it has <laughs> a silky part on this side. The other side, if you put the masa over there and spread it over there, it's, gonna, it's, it's not gonna, gonna stay stick, there. It's gonna stick, right? Okay. Yeah, so mm -hmm. on this side, that's where you do it. And normally what they do is just like a at home, they use a spoon or anything. What are you spreading, spreading in there? Uh, this oh, is the masa. the masa. So what we do, just put the masa on it and spread it like this. This is one ready. And this is why it's so fun for families yeah. to do this. I mean, the kids love doing this. What we do is we get together during Christmas, all the family helps, and we listen to music, have some fun, drink some wine, and enjoy. So this so I like it do. in your masa that you can actually see the bits of corn in there. Yeah, yeah, that's another thing. Everything is made from scratch in our kitchen. And um, we are very careful on the ingredients that put in this. I make everything the way I make it for my kids. So how are you guys able to make all these tamales by hand and still you, keep going? It's, <laughs> it's a lot of practice. Because they work 24 hours a, hours a day here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But you have to make so many of them. Yeah, we make thousands of them. And I have the ladies helping me. It's not just me. But uh, like I say, many, many people use different things to spread it by hand, but that's the key because when you do it by hand, they're going to be fluffy. Okay. You use a ma Let's machine. Let's keep going here. We only got two more minutes left. So <laughs> once, we, machine, once we spread the masa, be, then what's next? Once you spread the masa, the <laughs> next step. The whip. Yeah, 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 you are. You are rushing me more than <laughs> I rush my <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So what you do, you just uh, get a good portion of uh, pulled pork, and it has to be a special trim pork, the one that we use. That's the reason oh, you're being the very generous with that pork uh, in there. Normally, uh, it has to be like that. Otherwise, yes. it's the, the key is the masa. It has a lot of flavor, but then we are 
sure to put the, uh, a good portion of the pork But I also noticed you did just a very thin layer of the masa. Mm -hmm. It has to be like that. That way it's going to be uh, around the, the, nice. the pork. And then we put some, this is called adobo. It's a special sauce that I make. Oh, wow. That has a little bit of a smoky flavor to it, it doesn't it? It does have a little, in a lot of herbs and spices that That's I put in there. I want to see Derek try to roll this. And then <laughs> yes. I'm going to show you how I do one, and then you do the next one. So what okay. you do, you put your hand like this, go like this, and then fold it. And oh, got it. Put it well, right I think here. so. It looks fairly uh, straightforward. Yeah. So you're just uh, <laughs> one side. tucking one in the side. kids. Yes. Like first right. the other, you got it. Like and making a little it. bed at home. <laughs> That's easy. it. Easy. And you, Only it's you not a bed, it it's a tamale. And just put it right here, and then you have another 3,000 to I, go. I put it right on top? No, <laughs> on the side. And then right I have here. another 3,000 3, to go. go. Yeah, the right show now. is only five more minutes, oh. my friend. <laughs> just so. for today. Just for that's, today. That's what Keep we're going. Doing. You crack the whip on him. Your turn. One? Keep going. You want to <laughs> do the masa now? Yeah, why not? You want to do the masa? You you can do it with this one. You just uh, the amount of masa that you're gonna put over there. Well, and, listen. Uh, my, does anybody my, else feel like that we just went to the I Love Lucy <laughs> cooking part? <laughs> well, thank yeah. you so much, Asuncion and Inijo. 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 Yeah, there we go. See? Yeah. Spanish. So I want to make sure that everybody knows. It doesn't have to be perfect. While, while you're busy yeah, making you another one, I want to make sure everybody knows how to place an order. For more information, you can visit grandetamales.com. Thank you guys very much for Thank coming you. in. Thank you. Wow. And don't hire me, please, because yeah. I'm not so great. And